Welcome to Electron Line. Here we have something slightly different. Here we're trying to find the integral of the cosine cube of x dx. Here we need a different trick. Notice I've added some additional identities here that may come in handy. The sine square of x plus the cosine square of x equals 1. And therefore, we can then write the cosine square of x equals 1 minus the sine square of x. The reason why I did that is because we can take this integral and make it look like this. This is equal to the integral of the cosine of x, or yes, times the cosine square of x times dx. Notice, I can then take the cosine square of x and make it look like this, 1 minus the sine square of x. And the reason why I'm doing that is because sometimes one of the functions, the cosine, can become the differential of the sine, or the sine can become the differential of the cosine. See in just a moment what I mean with that. So we're going to replace the cosine square of x by 1 minus the sine square of x. This is equal to the integral of, instead of cosine square of x, I write 1 minus the sine square of x. I still have my cosine of x, I'm going to write that there, times dx. Now the reason why I replaced them like that is because, well you'll see in just a moment why I did that. I'm now going to multiply this times each of the two terms. This is equal to the integral of the cosine of x minus the sine square of x times the cosine of x times dx. And now I can write it as two separate integrals. This is equal to the first integral, which is the cosine of x dx, which is easy to integrate, minus the integral of the sine square of x times the cosine of x dx. And notice that the derivative of the sine of x is the cosine of x, so therefore the differential of the sine of x is the cosine of x dx. In other words, for the second integration right here, I'm going to let u equal the sine of x, therefore du dx is equal to the derivative of the sine, which is the cosine of x, or du is equal to the cosine of x dx. In other words, if I let u equal the sine of x, then du is equal to the cosine of x times dx, which is what I have over here. This here would be our du, and then u would be the sine of x, so the sine square of x would be u squared. The following integrals become now, the, now I get the following. This is the cosine of x dx minus the integral of u squared times du, and this I know how to integrate. The first one is also easy. The integral of the cosine would be equal to the sine of x minus, the integral of this is u cubed over 3, and of course I can't forget the constant of integration. Now I have to plug back in what u is equal to, u is equal to the sine of x. So this becomes the following, the integral of the cosine cube of x is equal to the sine of x minus u, which is sine of x, so that would be the sine cube of x divided by 3 plus a constant of integration, and this then would be the integral of the cosine cube of x. So once you know the trick, replace the, write it like the cosine of x times the cosine square of x, and then replace the cosine square of x by 1 minus the sine square of x, realizing that the cosine of x is the differential of the sine of x. And that's how we do that.